Oh, there we go. That was awful. Huh? I know. Ah, awful. We had a blue screen of death. The whole computer just completely blue screened when I tried to play that last guy. So, uh, yeah. Whoops. The good thing is, though, is that I think that that preserves my one streak. I don't know. I don't really mind. I don't think you get anything for it. Ah, my one streak is dead. Okay, we'll play one more game with Don Fan. Then I want to play a standard game, and then I think we'll call it. Ah, uh, that's awful. Anyways, let's get back into playing with Don Fan. Uh, we'll play one game with Don Fan. Oh, that wet streak was doing so good. Oh, well. Let's kick off our lovely music. Dragon37110 is calling the coin flip. I won the coin flip because Tails, it's my turn. Yes, it is. I'm back. Thanks for coming back. My computer blue screened. I lost, I lost my one. It was terrible. <laughs> Okay, right. We have another tech we're gonna play. We're gonna play Fanbe up front. We're gonna play Tapu Koko on the bench uh, Because Tapu Koko has an attack for two energy that allows me to put 20 damage on every one of my opponent's Pokemon Which isn't too bad. I don't I'll start the hoop on the bench as well, and we are done Let's see how we get on Charmander Okay I need to use an N, mainly because I have no energy and I really need energy on my first turn. Come on. Ah, no energy. That's bad. It's okay. I can settle with energy on my second turn. Oh, that's bad. Right, Flutestone on the Hoopa. And we are done. That's all we can do. Nice cabinets display behind you. I've got models and love seeing what others have yet. These are all just amiibo. Um... The light is currently out above them, so they're kind of dark on stream at the moment. But this is just all amiibo. Uh, it's it's uh, it's way too much. And then on this side, all of my Pokemon stuff, all like my trophies and deck boxes and things are in the top, along with just some other random bits and bobs. Oh, we got an energy. Fantastic. Let's attach energy to the main Dawn Fan. We are going to evolve into Dawn Fan. Oh, Fan B. Then Dawn Fan. Then we are going to play Professor Juniper because I want that hand refresh. Seven cards. Thank you very much. Uh, we're gonna play. I don't. We're gonna play Power Plant because I don't know what they're gonna do. No Java. Do not update. I don't want another blue screen. Then we're gonna put Choice Band on this guy. Then we are going to because I'm basically banking on the fact that they're gonna play a GX or an EX. We're gonna use Spin and Turn for the damage. That's good. He needs to do something next turn or the game is over. Hoopa into the active. Great. There we go. Charmander, what do you got? You're evolving into Charmeleon. You've got 100 health. I need to do 60 damage. And then you deed Blacksmith. Put two uh, fire energy onto one of your uh, them dudes. Fire Pokemon. There we go. He's going to use Slash. 30 damage. Uh, you're going to have to do better than that. 40, 50, 60, 70. Yeah, we've won the game. We're gonna up uh, we're gonna go to this Dawn Fan. We're gonna attach a strong energy onto the Dawn Fan. We're gonna retreat into this Dawn Fan. Then we're gonna head for 40, 50, 60 damage, which will do the 100 that we need in order to knock him out. He has no bench to Pokemon. I won the game. That is amazing. Oh, I still need to choose an active. That's pretty annoying. And there we go. The game is won. That's a good way to come back with a nice donk one where you just like punish one of your opponents for not getting a good draw. Oh well. Plus we get 20 pokey coin dollars. Yeah, there we go. Let's turn up the actual music. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that game went. That is, uh, that happened to me at a tournament at the weekend. I just realized that I played that whole game on the wrong camera view. I apologize. I will go some action. Ali. I played the whole game on like the tiny camera view. Apologies. I was supposed to play it on the main one. Derp. But it's okay. It was a donk. Uh, I got donked at the weekend where I had a 
completely dead hand. I couldn't play anything. I had one, like, crap 40 HP active. And someone just knocked it out straight away. And I lost the game. But I don't count that as a full game. So we're going to play another Dawn fan. Then we're going to play a standard game. Because I have this, like, Alolan Sand Slash deck that, like, punishes people for being confused. And doesn't play any energy. That's kind of fun. It's got loads of holes. I don't think it would ever work in a proper, like, competitive setting. But, eh. Let's play our Pokemon music. We're gonna go Tails because of that bad coding. Yes, we won the coin flip. My turn. Always want to go first in this instance. Oh, that's so bad. Okay. Sacrom, you're up. Hoopa, you're on the bench. So, Zekrom has an attack called Outrage, where he does 20 damage plus 10 for each damage counter that's already on him. And uh, for anyone that's not au fait with Pokemon stuff, a damage counter is essentially 10 damage. So, because everything's counted in 10s. So, um, he's got 130 HP, meaning the max he can do is 140, because he'll do 20 plus 120. Oh my goodness, I'm getting timed out. I'm too busy talking rubbish. But yeah, so Outrage is a nice attack. The problem is you need a double colorless energy to use it. And for some reason, I don't know why, but I don't come across them very often. Even though I have like three of them. Charizard DX. Okay. Uh, secret rare as well, is it? No? Regular rare? Uh, yeah. This Charizard isn't fun. Uh, let's put a super crazy fighting energy on the Fampy. Let's put a power plant up because may as well. And we're done. So we need a supporter. We have no supporters. We need to hopefully dead draw something that either is a supporter or can get us a supporter. Hopefully something that will give us more cards. Ideally a Karina because Karina is amazing for fighting decks because Karina allows you to search for a fighting Pokemon and an item, which means you can just completely just get your setup going as fast as you want. Professor's Letter, search for two basic energy cards, reveal them and put them into your hand. Water? That's not what I thought I would see with a Charizard. What are you playing? A Pidgeot EX? Mirror move? Okay. Oh yeah, we got the Dawn fan straight away. And that is uh, pretty much useless. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'll do the turn attach on the Zekrom. Uh, the only reason why is because if I get two on him, then I can start using Outrage. If I have two on him, I can also retreat into the Dawn Fan. The problem is I also need a Float Stone to get on my Hoopa. I also need Robo Subs. I need so much, and this game has given me so little. What is this guy doing? There's the Float Stone. Now, Downside of strong energy means it can only be attached to fighting Pokemon. So I can't actually attach it to the Zekrom in order to get him out of the active. I have no discard pile, so the VS Seeker is completely useless. So I may as well just do the turn attach on the Dawn Fan and just power him up even more. I know too strong energy. I never want to put too strong energy on the same Dawn Fan, but in this instance, I kind of have to. Um, strong energy, again, for anyone that kind of knows about strong energy, it is 20 damage plus... Uh, it does 20 extra damage uh, when you attack. Am I the only person to comment so far? Um, yeah, seems so. On this stream, anyway, there was a better conversation in the last one, but then I got a blue screen of death, and now we're in a brand new stream. <laughs> Professor's Letter, amazing. Professor's Letter allows me to search for two energy. I'm going to take two, and I'm going to put one on uh, Zekrom. And do you know what? I really don't mind if Zekrom dies. Uh, I mean, he's getting hit for 60 damage with wing attack. I mean, next turn, he's probably going to get hit with Combustion Blast, but if he does, then this Charizard can't use it, like, twice in a row. So it means Charizard is guaranteed to use wing attack. So he's either going to hit me for 60, which is great, or he's going to knock me out and then not be able to knock out whatever I put up next turn, which is also great. So I may as well just use Outrage and just keep doing that, uh, because, yeah, that's what Zekrom's there for, just to keep hitting until he dies. So there we go. Combustion Blast. Char oh, you're going to go up to Mega Charizard? Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to want that to happen. Uh, let's put Dawn Fan. In uh, Dawn Fan, go in the active. There we go. So, yeah, 40, 60, 80. I need to get an extra 20 damage somehow out of him, but I can't do it right now because he's going to evolve up to Mega Charizard. It's going to be a whole hassle. Ugh. 
Okay. Uh, let's use spinning turn. We are getting nothing this turn. We are getting nothing this game so far. That's 160 on him. Then we swap into the Hoopa. Now, the good thing about Hoopa is, is that Hoopa can't be damaged by Pokemon EX uh, or GX. He is only playing EX Pokemon, which means he cannot hurt my Hoopa. Zero damage. Better luck next time. Again, dead draw. Nothing we can do. Retreat into the Donphan. Uh, Donphan, knock out that Charizard. Ruin his day. Thank you so much. Put that Hoopa back up. All that stuff is discarded. Oh, that makes me feel so good. Give me some prize cards. I hope he uh, promotes Pidgeot next. A life due. Amazing. That would have been great before the Zekrom got knocked out. But, um, Pidgeot. Oh, they both have fighting resistance. Derp. Plus Keldeo. Can kill me really easily. Ah, damn it. Well, not too bad. I mean, yeah, you're, you're doing the Honda Hoopa. You're all EX. Why can't I get a card that I need? I, I literally cannot use any of these cards. I can't put Donphan's out. I don't want to use Life G on something that's, like, not a Donphan. Or I don't want to use Life G on a Donphan. I can't use VS Seekers because I haven't played a supporter already. And I don't want to attach any more energy because that's not what I'm doing. Hello, I'm back. Hello, Advitech. Uh, yeah, I got a blue screen. <laughs> yeah, and I had to start again. Anyways, uh, yeah, retreat uh, into the uh, Donphan. Then we're going to have 60 damage because he's resistant. That means it's going to be a three-turn KO. And there we go. Then we're just going to keep doing that all day long. And I'm going to get another hoop out as quick as I can. And keep doing it all day long. Keldeo, work away. Shaman EX. Uh, Shaman used to be like 25 or 30 pounds a card. Um, yeah, that's not going to do anything. Uh, mainly because uh, it used to allow you to refresh your hand for free. Oh, I got a Karina. Oh, amazing. Right, now we can finally get this game started. Right, Fampy. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get a Robo Sub, are we? No, we're not. We're going to get a Choice Band. Choice Band does 30 extra damage when you attack a Pokemon EX or GX. So I'm going to attach that Choice Band onto my Dawn Fan. I'm going to get Fampy up and running because Fampy needs to be up and running. Yeah, then we're just going to use VS Seeker to keep playing Karina. Yeah, this game is this game is pretty much under control. Okay, let's get uh, Hoopa back. We're going to push out Dawn Fan who's going to do 40, 60, 80, 110. Minus the 20 is 90 damage. Boom. Amazing. Then Hoopa's gonna go back out the front. Welcome, Hoopa. Ya back. Do you ever have the desire to stream online Xbox games with viewers? Yeah, we did like a Minecraft stream about three weeks ago where everybody jumped on and played Minecraft. That was loads of fun. Um, I will probably play way more Pokemon TCG than anybody wants to see. So um, I'd say people can play some Pokemon TCG with me as well if they want. But um, the reason being is because I want to try my best to play in as many tournaments as I want. Why did you hit him for 110 damage? Uh, I'll prevent all effects of attacks including damage done. This, this, oh, okay. That uh, a damage isn't affected by any effects your opponents say. Okay, 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 okay. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. I'm playing, I got this. Right, so we have a way around this. Uh, Karina, sorry, the, what I was saying was the reason why I'm playing a lot of TCG is because I want to play some more tournaments. I want to try and qualify for some of the bigger tournaments because I just really love this game. We're going to do a fan bait. We're also going to start playing Ruby Substitutes because he's found a way to attack my Hoopa. I don't want him attacking my Hoopa. Fan bait, you're up. Uh, 40, 60, 80, 110, 130. There's no point. You are going to get a strong energy. Uh, Ruby Sub, you're going to go out front. Hoopa, we need to protect you until we knock out the Keldeo. Retreat into the Donphan. Uh, Donphan, you're going to have to do some big damage for me here, boy. 110, hopefully. Good boy. Into the Rubusub. Fantastic. Right, so, Keldeo, hopefully we should be able to knock out next turn. Then all we need is a Guzma to pull up the Pidgeot, and we can knock out the Pidgeot for the game. Hopefully. If not, we can pull up Shaman and knock him out if he does manage to get rid of the Pidgeot. Yeah, he's in a pretty bad place. The Rayquaza, it makes me uncomfortable, but it doesn't scare me because he's not attaching any energy to it. And I don't think he has a way to rush energy onto it. So I'm not really that worried, but still. Uh, I 
Yeah, I think we I think we've got this in the bag. Um, that Karina was exactly what we needed, especially because VS Seekers just allow you to keep playing those supporters over and over and over and over again. Um, VS Seekers, uh, they're not in standard anymore. It's a shame. I wish they would reprint them because they just add so much consistency to attack. You literally did nothing. My goodness, I did not expect this this type of play. That's a bold move. Let's see if it pays off. But I doubt it. So, I'm going to keep this fighting energy just in case I need it in future. I don't think I do. I'm going to play another Karina. The only reason being is because I just want to make 100% sure that we're going to do this. Like, we're going to win. Even though a Dawn fan is prized, but still. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll pull out a VS Seeker as our... Um, We'll pull out a VS Seeker. You can see this this loop happening because now we can VS Seeker for the Karina again. Even though there's probably no point after this because our last Dawn fan is prized. So, let us uh, discard the Robo Substitute. Goodbye. Then we are going to pull out our mega beefed up super hyper inflated Dawn fan with all the bells and muscles. He's going to attack for 110 damage, knocking out the Caldeo. We are down to two prizes. It's crunch time. Now our Hoopa goes back into play because nothing can can hurt that Hoopa. Hoopa's MVP. The only thing that could hurt Hoopa was the Keldeo because Keldeo could had an attack that ignored all effects, which meant like it ignored this Scoundrel Guard ability. So now Hoopa is back to being his old bulletproof self. So I'd imagine you're going to push the Rayquaza in order to try and buy some time. Anything else you push and I've got game next turn. But it's last two prizes. Next knockout. And we got this. Oh, it's so tense. It's so tense and so wonderful. I love it. What are you going to do, my friend? Oh, he was waiting for me. Derp. Uh, is this PC only? Is it on mobile? It's on uh, PC. I think it's on Android and it is also on iPads. I think it's not on iPhones, unfortunately. I really wish it was. Uh, yeah. What are you going to do with that, Pidgeot? You're going to use Mirror Move. It's going to do nothing. Well done. And we have the game. Yay. There we go. Oh, that makes me happy. That makes me really happy. Oh, great. So we got 30 Poké dollar coins. We're so close. But I think that I'm, I'm going to... Uh, that's where I'm going to leave it as far as Dawn Fan goes. I'm going to try and do uh, a standard game. Let, let's double check. Do you want to play a standard game? Yeah. You're in the middle of a game? Yeah. Are you, are you like... At the start, metal in. Two prize cards each. Right. Aye, and then we'll play. And then, aye, that's fine. Happy days. Right, so uh, my plan is to play uh, Tash, who is over on the sofa. It's like a nice setup on here. I like this. See, this is why I moved the desk down to the living room, because I can sit here. I'm surrounded by everyone i'm not like sitting by myself uh little alucard is sleeping down by my chair so i can't roll my chair because i don't want to nip him and then we also have my hamster he's right beside me soul leader he's amazing and then on the sofa is tash who's playing pokemon as well our whole house has just been taken by pokemon fever there's like an entire ikea stand just totally filled their sealed product on there that I want to open, but I want to film it in order to put it on the channel because I want to do some Pokemon videos as well as some Xbox videos. I want to kind of branch out and do more of the things that I enjoy. So yeah, I, I'll make a video talking about all that. So I have currently two Pokemon videos, two Xbox videos that are like in the works. And then after that, I probably, or at some point during that, I'll make a video as well. Just kind of talking about like direction and whatever. Um, because I do enjoy Pokemon, and it is something that's going to take up a massive part of my time going forward. Um, because I do want to play in tournaments. So, um, I just thought I would share it with everyone. 
And if anyone plays Pokemon and wants to get on it, feel free. You did what, sorry? You conceded? Oh, that's that's too bad. So, anyways, let's set up a game. We're gonna play with the lovely Tash Ketchum. Challenge friend to a game. No energy at Lolan Sandslash. This is great. I do also understand that uh, Tash is going to be hearing me commentate the game that I'm currently playing against her while she sits behind me. You're not gonna listen? I'll try and not shout as loud as I normally do. Anyways, here we go. It's me versus Tash. I'm also going to move my uh, face cam again, even though I moved it last time. But it doesn't save because, of course, it doesn't. So there we go. Uh, I will go first, yes. Because... Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Sorry. The, this is another stage one deck. So this deck is totally different. Um what i was playing before this is standard now so this is like actually tournament legal like you could play this in any of the tournaments um choose a pokemon to be my active it's going to be Sandshrew. although now tash knows i'm playing a Sandshrew. pokemon on my bench is going to be this guy for everyone on stream you'll know who that is for anyone sitting behind me on the sofa you won't <laughs> unless you look or you could just open the stream and like another tab it's on your phone? Oh, thanks. You have no additional basic Pokemon, I know. That's fine. So me and Tash played a few games before, so Tash knows this deck inside out, so it's not really going to be any surprise. Um, Tash is also making some major changes to her. She's been doing some crazy playtesting, and I am really excited to see like what this deck will do. Um, we spent a lot of time today chatting about like how we can make it better, and Tash is doing loads of research, so... We'll see how it plays. Opponent to select their starting Pokemon. Do it. Would I like to take mulligans? Yes, I want to take as many mulligans as I can. Oh, no, what did I do? Did I move something? Whoops. Anyways. Uh, yeah, let's start playing Pokemon. Let's get this attached. That's good. Let's uh, use Nest Ball. Nest Ball allows me to search for a basic uh, Grass Energy or Grass Pokemon and put it in my hand. I only play Grass Pokemon. I don't play Grass Energy. I don't play any energy in this deck. I don't need it. Which is nice. It adds a nice bit of consistency. Uh, I will play Judge Whistle because it allows me to draw a card for free. Uh, which is a Pokemon communication, which is something that could be handy. I will play a Pokemon fan club, which allows me to search for two basic Pokemon, reveal them and put them into my hand. The basic Pokemon will be that one. And <laughs> that one. <laughs> and... Da, 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 da. Okay, right. So I have an idea here. Uh, I will make that idea more clear as time goes on. But I'm going to add this guy onto the bench. Uh, Paris is basically the backbone of this deck. I'm going to play Pokemon Communication. Pokemon Commun Communication allows me to shuffle a Pokemon from my hand back into my deck and search for any Pokemon that I want. So I'm going to shuffle this guy back in. That's the reason why I used the fan club. Was so I could put one back in and search for a Pokemon that I actually want, which is this guy. So he is now in my hand. Uh, and yeah, I think that's us. We are pretty much set that's a solid first turn yeah yeah it was a pretty good first turn i mean if you're gonna if you're playing a stage one deck really what you want to do is just start raining your basics out as quick as you can because you're gonna need to evolve them on turn one otherwise you're just spending too long that giratina is scary looking that prism star viridian forest uh is a stadium that allows you to discard a card from your hand if you do you search for basic energy and reveal it and put it into your hand which is useless for me because i don't play any energy and i don't want to just discard stuff for nothing giratina the one that's on the bench now if you discard him that giratina just goes straight back onto your bench it can't be discarded it goes onto your bench and then puts two damage counters or a damage counter on two of your opponent's bench pokemon i believe yeah, put one counter on two of your opponent's bench, so really what you're doing is just bench sniping. Um, which isn't the best thing for this deck. So here we go. Let's get this going. We evolve into Parasect. We evolve up into Sandslash. 
Uh, we will play... Um, let's play a Cynthia. Cynthia, shuffle your hand back under your deck and draw six. Nice hand refresh. Hmm. Hmm. Pokemon communication. Shuffle a Pokemon back into my deck and search for one. I will search for one that I need. I suppose it's better than searching for one I don't need. Put him onto the bench. Uh, yeah, we're pretty much good to go. So what we do is we use spike armor. What spike armor does is it does a measly 30 damage. However, if someone attacks me, they take 60 damage. So now what this means is that if Giratina or anyone attacks a Lolan Sand Slice, they take 60 damage. However, I have an ear ring and bell attached to him, which means they also become confused. Now, if they are confused, Parasect allows, uh, makes you put two damage counters on your opponent's confused Pokemon between turns. So really what happens is that if you attack a Lolan Sand Slice, you take 60 damage, then you start taking 20 between turns. It just chips away at your health. And the more Parasects that you have, this stacks. So if you have two Parasects, you'll take 40 between turns, and then three, you take 60, and so on and so forth. I like to try and get three Parases out, because I don't want to put the... F if I have four out, I feel like my bench is too small. You can only have five Pokemon on your bench. So I like having three Parases. I've only once ever had to put four out, because I was in like a really like bad spot. I think I actually lost that game, but either way. My turn. Uh, da, 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 da. we can be. Mm, no, this is this is the question. What do we do? We have so many options. I think I'll play another Cynthia. Cynthia again will refresh my hand. There was another supporter there I could have played, but I'm gonna leave it. Uh, no, ear ring and bell, because that's the focus of this deck. Uh, Dutter Prism Star. Ditto Prism Star is a basic Pokemon that will evolve into any stage one that you put on top of him. So I can decide to turn him into a Alolan Sand Slash or into a Parasect. It's completely up to me. Um, I will also play a Poke Gear. No, I won't. I'll just leave it. Uh, but I will use Spike Armor again. May as well get that damage up. Yeah, so we're coming along nicely. The best thing about Ditto Prism Star is, is that you don't have to decide what you're going to evolve him into. Um, right away. You can just make that decision later, depending on what happens. Um, but still have your basic out. So it's kind of a nice versatile card. The downside with Prism Stars is once they're knocked out, they don't go to the discard pile. They go to the loss zone, which means that you cannot play them again. Like, once they're gone, they're gone. And also, you can only have one of any Prism Star Pokemon in your deck. So I can only have one Ditto Prism Star. I can't have four. Uh, in Pokemon, you're allowed four copies of any card in your deck except Prism Star, and uh, except Energy. You can have as many Energy as you want. So, it looks like the benches are fully stacked. It looks like we have a game here. Uh, I don't want to use Nest Ball. Hmm. Now, is this smart? I don't think it is. This Giratina has 100 health left. I don't think I can do 100 damage in one go yet. Uh, yeah. I'll just... I'll... Hmm. I'll play Tate and Lisa. Tate and Lisa, shuffle your hand under your deck and draw five cards. It also has another ability that you can use, the Switch. So you don't have to lose your hand if you don't want, but it's not really that big of a problem. I'll also play Shrine of Punishment, which means that this Deoxys and Espeon GX tag team on the bench will take 10 damage between turns. And this Alolan Sand Slash is now out. So now we have two Alolan Sand Slashes. We're doing okay. I don't care about the Poke Gears. I actually might drop the Poke Gears from this deck because I never use them. I never really have much problem like drawing under the supporters that I need. So, eh. Even if I drop one of them and just kept one just in case I got stuck. So yeah, this Giratina is going to destroy me if it wants. Uh, this Giratina will do 160 damage and it will also discard 2 energy from this Pokemon. However, if I know this deck, I've seen it kind of evolve over the past few days, that shouldn't really be a problem. And there we go, 160, but the ear ring and bell will cause confusion. Uh, plus the spike armor. That Giratina's gone. 
as soon as I choose this alone sand slash to go into the active then 20 damage is going to go on to the Giratina, knocking it out, give me a press card. Amazing. Paris, I do not need you. So who am I against? Lunala Prism Star. I have not seen Lunala Prism Star. 160 for each of your opponent's Pokemon to play attach a Psychic Energy from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way that you like. That is very bad for me because there, I, there is now four... Psychic energy on that discard pile, which means that attack will flood all that back onto the bench. Or Psy Storm, which is not going to happen next turn. Okay. Uh, right, let's play some Pokemon. This is not a good idea. Hmm. Yeah, let's refresh the hand. I'm kind of nervous about the fact that I only have one Alolan Sand Slash. So let's see what we can do about that. We'll attach the escape board to the Jirachi in case we need it. We'll play the Judge Whistle. To draw an extra card just in case that's kind of nice but i'll leave it until the next turn we'll figure out what we need to do and yeah uh spike armor let's keep that rolling so that's 30 damage and we're back in the like if if a lone sand slash gets attacked it does 60 then causes the confusion which causes the damage between turns really nice mysterious treasure discard a card from your hand and if you do, you search your deck for a Psychic or Dragon Pokemon, reveal it, put it under your hand, and shuffle your deck. So, really, you're discarding a card from your hand in order to pull out a Psychic or Dragon Pokemon. It's very good in either of those decks. Cosmium. Cosmium. There's the evolution. So, Cosmium is a very versatile Pokemon if you are lucky enough to play Stage 2s comfortably in your deck. Because um, it can evolve into either Lunala or Solgaleo. Uh, anyone who's played Sun and Moon will know this, but it's great in the card game because you can play both a both of those cards in your deck and decide, like at this point now, who which one you want to use. So there we go, there was that Full Moon star to put five psychic energy onto the lunala so yeah this lunala is just so soaking up all that energy yeah we need to we need to do something about that uh we need to do something about that bad uh yeah th th that's what we're gonna do right there that's the only thing we can do uh right pokemon communication get rid of the paras and give me out a Parasect. I will evolve this Paras. If you can evolve something else other than your Ditto, I would recommend doing it because, again, Ditto leaves you with the choice and you always want the choice. Then I'm going to play Koga's Trap. Koga's Trap causes confusion and poison, which means that we can start spreading the damage with that Parasect without waiting for our Sand Slice to take a hit, which is kind of nice. Now we can do 30 more damage. Then we're going to take 40, 50 between turns. Uh, that Lunala should be deed. However, there is a way of saving those psychic energy, and we'll see if it happens. <sighs> Tenth. See, we got a game. This is why. This is why I like playing you because we just get a good game. No, it's not going to plan. So that Lunala. Oh, wow. Just completely traded. That was a solid trade. So I lost my Alolan Sand Slash. Oh, no. I don't know what I want to do. Jirachi, you're up. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you're stuck as well? Yeah. It's bad. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> yeah, Pokemon communication. There we go. Get rid of the Paras. Oh no, I was meant to play something else first. Oh no, that was such a bad must play. Oh, it's fine. Oh, that could have been horrible because I needed to get the Alolan Sand Slash, but I needed to get them out of my discard pile. But it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Jirachi, once you're in your turn, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you lift the top five cards of your deck, reveal a trainer card, you find there, put it under your hand, and then that Jirachi is asleep. That's no problem. Uh, what do I want? I want an ear ringing bell. There we go. Ear ringing bell. 
Pancharachi is asleep. Uh, alone sun slash. Uh... Yeah, you know what? Brock's grit. Brock's grit allows me to search for six Pokemon in my discard pile and put them back into my deck. Uh, which is really good because it's low HP stage ones. They're going to get knocked out a lot. So this puts them all back. And we are going to retreat into the Alolan Sandslash, and we're just going to keep this party going as much as we can. Spike armor. Boom. Now, the thing about uh, the Jirachi as well is that if you are asleep, you can't retreat um, because you're asleep. However, the escape board tool card that's attached to it reduces the retreat cost by one and also allows you to retreat if you're asleep or paralyzed. So that matched with the Jirachi essentially allows me to look at the top five cards in my deck and just use one of the trainers that's there for free. It's quite nice. That's probably the reason why Jirachis are like 25 pound a card. It's ridiculous. However, there is a deck, like a pre-made deck coming out soon that has two Jirachis in it. And so everyone's gonna be buying those. And it's gonna pull the price way down, which is great. Cosmog! Hopefully that uh, Espeon Deoxys isn't going to do anything. Hmm. <sighs> Discarding the Mew? My turn. Uh, I don't use that. We're kind of too lit in the game for that now. Uh, we'll play Tate and Lisa. And we'll use it to shuffle our hand into our deck. And get five for free. That's not bad. Um, hmm, let's... You see what I mean about that Poke gear? I don't really need it. And the netball. I know we can search for Parasects, but... It's not, I just don't really need it. Um, yeah, alone Sand Slash, or Sand Shrew, go you up. Wow, it'd be nice if I can play Sand Slashes onto the bench. Um, spike Armor, just keep keep doing your thing. <coughs> what, are you, what are you barking at, Ali? <coughs> no, Ali is not happy. Yeah, Ali is Ali's very protective of our eyes. Ali! He's quite protective. <laughs> Ali, the people are allowed to love in the street. It's fine. You don't own the street. My brave boy. Oh. So, Lunala GX allows you to- What? I know, I'm about to explain. Lunala GX allows you to uh, move psychic energy anywhere you want. You can rearrange all of your psychic energy that's attached to your Pokemon in any way that you want. 160 damage, knocking out my Sand Slash. It's fine. It's fine. That tag team is going to take some nice damage. Some tasty damage. Jirachi, up you, up you go. Hmm, okay. This is, uh, interesting. So, uh, Stellar Wish. Let me look at that top five. That's not what I want. That's not what I want at all. But I'll take you. Okay, right. We're gonna need to, we're gonna need to power, we're gonna need to power play this a bit here. We need another Jirachi, and we need an escape board. Then what we need to do is we need to retreat this Jirachi into this Jirachi. Oh, that was a bad... Oh, it wasn't a bad idea. It's fine. And then we use uh, Stellar Wish again to do the same thing twice. Oh, uh, man. Um, yeah. 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 Dang! I didn't get the cards I wanted. Uh, it's okay. We can do this. Uh, Shrine of Punishment will allow me to swap out that one. Um, unfortunately, you can't. You can only retreat once per turn. 
But I have a Tate and Lisa who I'm willing to sacrifice uh, will allow me to switch my active Pokemon with one of my benched. Uh, that was also a bad idea. Dang. What am I doing? Oh, that was a horrible play. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. That's not a big deal. Let's just throw out another Jirachi. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're done. But it's okay, because the damage from the two Parasects is going to take out that tag team, giving us three prizes and putting us down to one prize. Oh, this is going to be a tight game. Oh, this is going to be... Because right now I am... Oh, that was a fantastic number of prize cards. I'm so happy I pulled those prize cards because it's what I needed. Oh, I think we got this. Oh, I think we got this. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, you see those three prize cards were exactly what I was searching for with those two Jirachis. Like, I got everything that I wanted. I didn't even realize they were prized. So I think we have a path to victory here. Yeah. Yeah, there was no Malamars up at all, so that there was... Yeah, you're just caught. Well, either way... We'll see now. Uh... We'll retreat uh, into the. In fact, no, 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 no. Cancel, cancel the retreat. Cancel the retreat. Uh, we'll use Stellar Wish first. Uh, for no reason whatsoever. There is no point in using that card. Because it doesn't do anything for us. 3, 2, 1, Lutos. Hello! And, uh, yeah, we are going to retreat the Jirachi into the Alolan Sand Slash. We are then going to play Kogus Trap in order to put Poison and Confuse on. Because of the three Parasects, any Confused Pokemon are going to take 60 damage between turns. Spiked Armor is going to do 30, so that's 90. The Poison is going to do 10. Not enough to quite knock out the Giratina. But I think we may have this. Um, unfortunately, we don't have the hear the ear ringing bell. Uh, hi, Lutos. Um, yeah, um, I think the stream might be broke because it's telling me that there's 149 people watching. I don't think that's true. If there is, uh, let me know in the chat. But I do not think there's 149 people watching the stream. Your live stream is popping. Oh, is there actually 149 people watching the live stream? Okay. Wow, 199 people watching the live stream? Wow, that happened at a really bad time. I really need to use the bathroom. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Uh, oh, thank you very much, uh, Tash. Um, unfortunately, the end of our game happened uh, as the stream was kind of taken off. Uh, but either way... So, um, yeah, I'm going to run just for two seconds really quickly. Um, I'm going to use the bathroom. We'll come back. We'll play another Dawn Fan Expanded. And we'll see if we can get this win streak up a wee bit. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'll BRB.
Oh, there we go. Thank you very much. So, yeah, um, I blue screened my computer earlier. This is the second time I'm playing this game tonight. Uh, the stream is doing quite well now, like 250 odd people in. I would much rather not blue screen my computer in front of like, you know, 200 odd people. So, uh, yeah, hopefully the PC works. Anyways, uh, so what we're essentially doing is just trying out some expanded stuff. Uh, yeah, let's play some Dawn Fan Expanded. Uh,. Okay, right, Dawn fan. Uh, that no energy Alolan Sand Slash was quite nice for standard as well, but um, yeah, the expanded is good fun. I'm kind of more comfortable there. So let's turn the music down and let's get our super awesome, fantastic Pokemon battle music up and running. Boom! And we'll play Tails, because in this game, for some reason, I know I mentioned this before, anyone was watching earlier, but um, for some reason this game has a small percentage uh, skew towards Tails, so you should always pick Tails, uh, because you've got a 51% chance of getting Tails. So there we go, uh, that is a horrible draw. We should not ever be starting with Zekrom, but it's okay, I don't mind if Zekrom dies, that's the only reason he's on this deck, is to take damage and give it back out using Outrage. There we go. Um, also, um, anyone who's just joined the stream, uh, now's a good time to like, uh, subscribe to the channel. I do Xbox videos. I'm going to be doing some uh, more Pokemon videos. I'm going to be doing... Oh, no, we got a hit done. Um, I'm going to be doing more Pokemon videos, uh, talking about TCG and just deck building, deck profiles, trying out some new decks. We'll be live streaming some decks. It's just going to be some, some fun times. Genesec, GX... Uh, anyone who played uh, Pokemon in like 2015, 2014, 2015 will hate Genesect. Let's play Karina. Uh, Karina will let us search for a Fampi. Will also let us search for a... Do we have a VS Seeker? Yes, we do. Will also let us search for a Robo Substitute because the whole idea behind this deck is that we are going to be moving up into Dawn Fans, hitting with Dawn Fans, swapping into Robo Substitute, and essentially just rinsing and repeating that. Um, the good thing about this Genesect is though, is that it is... Oh, no. I thought that was fighting weakness. It's fire weakness. It's a steel type. Oh, well. Uh, we'll attach the choice band. We will push the Rubo Substitute. We will put the strong energy onto the fan. Be strong energy allows you to attack for 20 extra damage. And, yeah. That's us. There we go. Oh, crazy steel mad. Oh, metal goggles. 30 less damage. I played steel decks before. Steel decks are no fun. They're crazy. So, uh, anyone, any other Pokemon TCG players here? Any other, anyone else who enjoys playing TCG stuff? What decks you playing? Tell me all about them. Looks like we're going to have some Metagross action on the bench. Shield to energy, any damage done is reduced by 10. So the whole idea behind steel type Pokemon is that you play loads of steel support in order to pull the damage down. Um, you just essentially just attach tools and play energy that makes you take less damage over time. That's pretty much it. And what do we got? Oh, uh, the shaman. Oh, uh, the shaman. That's bad. My turn. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep playing Karina. Oh, they got rid of the strong energy. Okay, we'll put a regular energy on him. Uh, we'll use Karina. Karina will allow me to search this time for a Dawn fan. Uh, we still have a VS Seeker, so we can still play the Karina again. However, this time... Um, I will also search for a Flutestone. Flutestone will allow me to pull that Zekrom back in order to get the Fampi up and actually start doing some damage. The problem is, is that the damage output is going to be pretty rubbish because of all this extra stuff that's attached to the Genesect. Uh, it's not, it's not the best, but hey, what do you do? Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's retreat. Into the Dawn Fan. Dawn Fan. Hit with spinning turn. 
30 damage. This is going to take a while. But it's okay. Uh, we'll see how we get on. Uh, who else has come out? Kartana GX, Ultra Beast. Uh, more Steel Types. Yeah, I play really bad against Steel Types. Mainly because Steel Types are just able to tank so hard. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Karina again. I mean, uh, this is the focus of this deck. You want to play Karinas as much as possible. And you want to get Robo Substitutes up again as much as possible. Um, because Karina's just so good for fighting support. You're going to be getting your fighting Pokemon out. You're going to be getting all your items up. That's all you want to set up this deck. And you just go as much as you can um okay here we go muscle band on that fan bay because it's going to be going up to on fan next turn we're going to retreat the reason why i'm pushing zacrom instead of the robo sub is because zacrom can absorb a bit of damage and then use the outrage attack in order to give that damage back so it it gets stronger the more damage is on it so i don't mind if it takes some damage also i only give up one prize per pokemon so they need to knock out like six of my Pokemon, whereas they're playing EXs and GXs, I only need to knock out three of theirs. Um, although, again, because this deck is a really bad example of that, because it's, you know, it's pretty much just tanking me out. What? What? Uh, yeah, do you know what? I, you know what? I think we should start playing Dedenne. Dedenne, uh, he does 20 damage times the number of energy attached to my opponent's active Pokemon. We could stick a choice band on him, which does an extra 30 damage. Yeah, that's, wow, that's me dead. Um, and, uh, yeah, little Dedenne, he, uh, he can do more damage than he's given credit for. But, uh, at the moment, we'll just start hitting with some Dawn fans. We'll hold off for a bit. Um, we'll set him up, though, because, you know, you always want to have, you know, your Pokemon that you're playing set up and ready to go. Uh, Shrine of Punishment. So, Shrine of Punishment will put 10 damage on each of the benched Pokemon, or any, sorry, Pokemon GX or EX. Um, we may as well play the VS Seeker. The VS Seeker will, um, allow us to search for the Karina, and then we should be able to play the Karina in order to get the second Dawn fan. Uh, there we go. And we should also then again be able to grab another VS Seeker so that we can just keep repeating this process as much as we want. Although we have N as well in our hand. So if we do need a brand new hand, we can just play N straight away. Get that hand going. There we go. Dawn fan, you're up. It's time. It's time. Spin a turn. Does zero damage because he has multiple tools. Oh my god, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Right, let's see how we can work around this. Genesect, if this, this Pokemon can have the two Pokemon tool cards attached to it, if it loses this ability, discard Pokemon tools until it only has one remains. Now the good thing is I have Power Plant, which is a stadium card, which uh, means that that ability is gone. Uh, Colorus is gonna pull out like, what, nine cards in his hand? Okay. Um, so if I play Power Plant, he loses that ability, which means that he drops one of those metal goggles, uh, meaning that you know, I can actually do some small amount of damage. However, I do like the idea of spreading some damage around with Shrine of Punishment, so I may hold off for a while. Um, little Dedenne, you know what, Dedenne? Get on there. Get on there. Let's do this. I, I'm not, I'm not about to st sit around waiting. Let's get this done. I'm going to hold off on that strong energy because he has a way of discarding energy off me. So, <clears throat> I'm going to play the Power Plant. The power plant is going to discard one of his um, metal goggle things. He has three energy on, which means I should be doing 20, 40, 60, 90. I mean, it's not going to knock him out, but it's going to be better than nothing, you know? Um, mm, I kind of want to keep that energy in hand. Let's VS Seeker for a Karina. Let's just keep doing the Karina thing, because, again, this deck runs off Karina. Because all you're ever looking for is fighting types. So let's get that fighting type out. Let's get another Robo Substitute. Um, let's also make my mouse work. There we go. Because Robo Substitutes, if they get knocked out, your opponent does not take a prize card, which means you can swap into the Robo Substitute, which is quite nice. Uh, then we're going to use Energy Short. Let's do this. 40 damage. 
It's not a lot, but against these tank decks, my goodness, these decks are just so slow to play against. But it's what you gotta do. What are we doing? What are we gonna do? He's probably gonna knock out the Dedenne. Again, it doesn't it doesn't really bother me. Uh power plant is stopping him from attaching that second metal goggles. Even if he does. I'm not that worried. Uh, I, I don't think I'm winning this game anyway. But uh, yeah, let's uh, push this stone fan. I want to see. I don't know how brave I am here because I need to get big damage going. Right, Hoopa. Hoopa, you're a good card. Get on there. Um, Let's attach the strong energy. He's going to get rid of it anyway. So we may as well attach it to this stone fan and attack with it. Then we're going to use the end, which is going to give me six cards. It's going to give him four. Uh... That was okay, I guess. Um, we have our regular energy, so we can turn attached next turn. We also have Professor's Letter, which allows us to search for two, two energy, which is nice. VS Seeker, so we can get some more stuff out that we need. Uh, yeah, let's attack. Let's spin and turn. But what we're going to do is we're going to spin and turn into the Hoopa. So there we go. Now he's got 30 HP left. Now we spin into the Hoopa. Hoopa has an ability that uh, prevents all effects of attacks, including damage done to it by GX and EX Pokemon, meaning that he cannot take damage from EX or GX unless they can get around the ability. So I'm hoping he doesn't have a way of getting around the ability and he just sits there just like not knowing what to do. Um, Skyla is not the card I want to see. Oh, he's going to increase the size of his bench. Okay, so that means now he can have up to eight Pokemon on his bench. Um, Colrus is going to be a nice card here. Because Colrus, uh, you can search for the number of Pokemon. Or you, sorry, Colrus, you play Colrus, you shuffle your hand under your deck and draw cards until you have the same number uh, of cards as you have Pokemon on the bench. So, yeah, Colrus is insane. However, I only have one and I have not seen him yet and I cannot VS Seagram. And he has, and this could be bad. But, anyways. This looks not... This looks okay. I think we still... I think we still have some... Uh, I think we still have, have have some hope, anyway, of winning this game. Uh, what are we doing? Are you retreating? Okay. I'm hoping that I play two Shrine of Punishment. Now, the thing here is, now, is that he's going to be playing a normal... Uh, Pokemon like a non uh, a non GX Pokemon the reason being is because he does not want to or he cannot attack this Hoopa So we are going to play Karina Karina is going to allow us to search for that last on fan It's also going to allow us to search for a flute stone, which means that we can swap The Hoopa for whoever we want because flute stone gives you free retreat So uh, get that evolution off we're going to get this uh, energy up. Uh, we are going to attach the float stone to the Hoopa. I don't want to add more Pokemon on to my bench than I need to. Because Skyfield, if you get rid of Skyfield, then you discard Pokemon from your bench until you have five. And he can discard stuff that has energy on it. Or has damage on it, so I don't want to get rid of Skyfield at the minute. It's not in my best interest to do it until I knock out the Genesect. Uh, which I don't know if I have a way to do. But either way, we're going to retreat this guy into the Dawn Fan that's going to do the most damage, which is either of these two. Yeah, 45 seconds. I got it. Then we're going to use Spin and Turn for 60, hopefully. Yeah, and then we're going to spin back into a Robo Substitute. Because he can knock out Robo Substitutes all day long. Um, if he wants to knock out anything else, he's going to have to use supporters to do it, which means that he's going to be burning resources to knock out stuff, which is nice. I like it when people have to get rid of resources in order to attack. Um, Steven's Resolve, does, my t does his turn end after using that? Yeah, so he searches his deck for three cards, puts them in his hand, and his turn is over. So he's actually sacrificing this Beldum, which isn't too bad because it still means I have to knock out three GXs in order to win. So, I mean, the, he's essentially getting the Beldum for free. 
or given up the Beldum for free. Because if I knock out three GXs, I get two prizes each, meaning I take six prizes. However, if I knock out this Beldum, then I take one prize card, I'm down to five, meaning I still have to knock out three GXs in order to take the last five prize cards. So, uh, let's think about what to do here. Um, so, okay, he searched for three cards, meaning he has three cards he really wants to play. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to play a Fan B onto the bench, because uh, why not? Then I'm also going to play N, because that's going to nerf his hand and get rid of the cards that he just searched for, which is kind of nice. Also going to give me a lovely hand refresh. Giving me the... Um, give me a choice band I can attach to this Dawn fan. Giving me a muscle band I can attach to this Dawn fan. I have the Guzma in hand so that I can pull up that Genesect and get the KO on the next turn. So I'm going to get rid of this Robosub. I'm going to go into this Dawn fan. This Dawn fan is going to attack, knocking out that Beldum, uh, which is again going to give me a prize, but I'm going to swap into the Hoopa because I'm banking on him pushing a non-GX, but it's not a problem because I can use Guzma. Amazing, we got a Dawn fan. We can evolve that other fan. We have all four Dawn fans just sitting proud, ready to rock. Oh, it's a good day to be a Dawn fan deck. Metagross, you're a brave boy. Geotech system, once during your turn, you may attach a Psychic or uh, steal energy from your discard pile to your active Pokemon. Okay, Metagross. Uh, you do you, buddy. Uh, yeah, I think we may have a path to, well, not victory, but at least taken like a bunch of prize cards here. Uh, because... Oh, okay. Right. So, the plan is, use the Guzma to pull the Genesect into the main, into the active, knock it out, take another two prize cards, then use the VS Seeker to reuse the Guzma again, pull up that Shaman, and hopefully be able to do 90 damage and knock it out. Okay, right, I think I think we have a game going here. So there we are. Um, that is a muscle band. Who do I want going first? Get you over there. There we go. Okay, okay, now now we're now we're doing well. Let's use the Guzma. Guzma to pull up the Genesect. Genesect into with the Dawn fan. Oh we're doing well. Oh we're doing well. Then we use the spin and turn. Knock out the Genesect. You're gone. Night night, back under the hoopa. Mm, so good. Another two prize cards. Robosub, you're going straight on the bench. Fighting energy, you're going straight on a Pokemon. Yeah, we're doing well. We're doing well. This is this is working out well. What's that Klefki doing? Each of your Pokemon's resistance is now minus forty. That's bad. Um hmm, yeah, that's bad. Uh, 170 on this ultra beast when you place Pokemon from your hand under your bench, you may discard special energy. That's okay. Um, Blaze GX, take a prize card. That could have worked out well. Okay, right. So, see, this is the problem with decks that play like a million different kinds of Pokemon. You can never tell which one to attack. It's just such a pain. So, he's obviously going to try and attack. What? Get yeah, okay, right. So, I'm thinking he's going for Gale Blade. Um, because that is going to shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached it into your deck. Okay. Well, he pulled up a big hand. I think we need to do something about that. Let's put a Robo Substitute onto the bench. Uh, let's attach an energy. Uh, he just got a massive hand that I'm sure he's very happy with. Hmm. Okay, right. Let. Okay. Let's let's check this. Right, so Shaman, I need to do 90 damage to Shaman. But he's resistant to fighting, so I actually need to do 110. 40 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. That's not gonna work. I need another strong energy on this Dawn fan in order to knock out that Shaman. So yeah, uh Colorus, it's Colorus time. Oh no, it's not, it's N time. N get that get that hand down. Get his big eight hand down. Don't need it. Um, 
yeah. This is uh, this has changed the way this is going to be played. So let's retreat this into the nice, lovely Dawn fan that we keep using. Let's you spin a turn. 110. Spin it back into the hoop up. Hopefully. Hopefully that Karat Karatana Kartana GX won't retreat, which he's doing. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll just have to use the Guzma again. What? What are, what are we gonna do? Discard two energy cards? Eh, it's fine. Uh, it's not a problem. I think we can do this. So you're gonna head for 60 plus a uh, bunch, 120, knockout Hoopa. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Never you worry. Don Fan, you're in the active. You got this, buddy. Uh, Tapi Coco. Tapu Coco? No, I'm not going to use him. Usually I would use him to do 20 damage to each of my opponent's Pokemon, but I don't really think that that's going to do much because I would need to do it over three turns, and he's not going to survive three turns. Let's use the VS Seeker. The VS Seeker is going to pull out the Guzma. The Guzma is going to pull up the Car the Car Tanka, whatever his name is. Uh, Guzma. Oh, no, I should... Oh, darn, I should have put up a Robo Sub. Anyways... And yeah, we'll just use the Robosub. Because we can discard the Robosub anyway. We really shouldn't have done that, but that's yeah, not a problem. Discard the Robosub. Uh, push the Dawn Fan. Spin and turn. Rack him. You got this. There we go. Uh, push it back into that. And we are down to one prize. We got one prize left. Oh, I know. Oh, this is so good. Whoever gets pushed out next, we can do some big damage. Because I can attach that double colorless onto this Dawn fan. Oh no. Oh no, he's using a tag team. I need a VS Seeker, and I need one now. Because I need a Guzma in order to hit someone else. Or we can just push Tapu Coco. We can start spreading damage. We can hopefully get something knocked out. But this is going to be a long drawn out affair to get this last prize but we're so close oh this is this is tough this is tough oh this is gonna be tough okay right uh spin and turn dawn fan guy you're up escape rope Uh, I don't know if that's going to be a good idea or not. Because Escape Rope, he can literally push anything else that he wants. Uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, let's just play the... Uh, yeah, stuff it. We're going to use... We're going to we're gonna go for the Hail Mary attack here. We're going to use Rack. Rack is going to do big damage, but not enough. 190, leaving 70 damage left. Getting rid of Skyfield, which will discard a few from his bench in order to get that bench size back down. He is going to knock out the Dawn Fan next turn using Heavy Impact. He still has 70 HP. I can do 70 next turn. Yeah, I think we may have this. I think we may have this. Because if he knocks out this Dawn Fan, I can push into the Dawn Fan with the um, Choice Band attached. Choice Band does 30 extra damage to GXs. So I could do Spin and Turn, which would be 40 plus 30, which would do 70. Knocking out the tag team. Oh, he's pulling the tag team back. Oh, he's playing smart. Oh, this is bad. Okay. We need a VS Seeker. And I need one now. I need one ASAP. I don't want to. I don't want to. Oh, I don't want to not have choice band. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is so bad. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to attach. We're just gonna have to turn attach onto this guy. We're gonna have to play aggressive. We've ten cards left, Juniper. And you go. I've got three cards left. There's a Guzma. I think we may have this next turn. There's a Hoopa. Oh, this is gonna be, this is tough. Uh, I don't wanna use the Hoopa. Uh, we are gonna use Spin and Turn. Yeah, okay, right, we got this. Spin and Turn. Boom. Into this guy. 
He's going to get knocked out. I can promote this Dawn fan. Then I can use Guzma, pulling out the tag team, knocking out the tag team to take what should be three prize cards, but essentially it'll be the last prize card. He's gearing up. He's ready to go. My turn. He knew what was coming. He knew what was coming. Because uh, he's just waiting now to deck me out. What do we got? 70 damage left. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one. Uh, Guzma. Give me that Klefki. Uh, give me this guy. There we go. I forgot the Klefki was there. Spin and turn. 80 damage. Knocking out the last Pokemon. They take the last prize card. Oh my goodness. What a game. Oh, that was a tough one. We were right down to the wire. He saw that I only had two cards left. He was waiting to deck me out. That was tough. That was good fun. And we got some mystery boxes. 50... Poking coins. I hope we got enough for a pack. We could open like a pack before we go. Maybe not. 179. Oh well. What we get there? Like two like special poke boxes? Yeah, let's open those. Then we'll call it a night. Well, hey. So collection. Uh packs. Let's turn up the music. Give us something to listen to. On you go. Here we go. Um, let's get on. Open these two. Open my reward chest. I got ten coins. Uh, I got a card. What's the card? Hey, it's a Sharpedo. I'll probably never use it. Reward chest. Five and a surprise box. Put a card for reference to discard pile into their hand. Uh, not much I would need to do with that. But there we go. That was Pokemon TCG. That was loads of fun. I played for a bit longer than I thought I was going to play for. But um, I'm happy I did. That was really good fun. Um, so the plan is I'm going to uh, make some Xbox videos. Make some Pokemon videos. I have like two Xbox videos waiting to go. Um, they just need to edit and finish on them. Uh, so that should be a few more days. I also i am going to start opening some Pokemon stuff on the channel. Because I'm just going to start diving into my love of pokemon we're gonna stream some more tcg uh a lot so if you like tcg streams uh this channel is gonna be very useful for you hopefully we're gonna try and build some new decks we're gonna try some weird decks we're just gonna play around with it just have a bit of fun but anyways thanks for everybody that came along um thanks for everybody who dived on was chatting in the chat uh just having a good time playing some pokemon but anyways uh yeah i will see everyone uh i'll put up a video probably later this week and try and do a stream maybe later in the week sometime but yeah thanks everyone bye